My name is Josh Condi, and I'm a member of Microsoft Small and Mid-Sized Business and Distribution Organization. Today I'm going to show you how to demonstrate the new uh, PC management solution in the cloud from Microsoft called Windows Intune. Okay, here I am at the main multi-account interface for Windows Intune. This is the main landing page. I have used my Windows Live ID to access with administrative credentials this main console. And you can see here I have a view of four customers whom I am acting as a managed services partner for. In other words, I am managing their PC environment via a web browser utilizing this cloud PC management service from Microsoft called Windows Intune. From this main multi-account console, I can get a high-level view of the health of the different environments that I am responsible for, from alerts to antivirus and anti-malware protection, updates and possible infections, as well as policy and Windows updates that may be ready for deployment. Now also from this page, I can select an individual account to access so I can get a much more detailed view and access to tools and resources available within Windows Intune for managing that account's PCs. Now the beauty of Windows Intune is because it is a cloud service and accessible via a browser, that gives great flexibility to the customer or partner who is managing uh, the PCs in that environment. Also gives great flexibility in accessing those PCs irrespective of the environment in which they reside. So they could be domain joined PCs on a corporate like network or they could be internet based PCs, perhaps an employee who is working from home or perhaps even a field based resource like a sales rep who has various states of connectivity. Uh, by utilizing this cloud service you can deploy the agents to each one of these environments and have access to them for administration, updating uh, and resolving issues at any point in time regardless of where they are. So here I am in the main console for this particular Southridge video customer. This system overview page gives me an overall health check of the entire environment. Everything from the endpoint protection. Uh, this is the antivirus and anti-malware status of this environment on all the machines that reside therein. Coming with Windows Intune is the full version of Intune endpoint protection which is based on our forefront endpoint protection. Microsoft enterprise antivirus and anti-malware solution. Each managed PC with Windows Intune is afforded the use of Intune endpoint protection. All the administration capabilities reside here in the Intune console. I can also manage updates performing many of the same functions of a Windows update server. Windows Intune can store these updates, allow you to review and test them before actually deploying them. I can manage policy. I can monitor the health of the agents that I've deployed to manage these individual machines and check on their uh, state of connectivity in the last time that they connected to the internet or the domain. I can also deploy and update software, both Microsoft and third-party software using the Windows Intune console. And I can check on that status here. And any custom alerts that I wish to be notified of, whether they're security alerts, uh, update alerts, or uh, even performance alerts associated with individual machine performance and I can define various thresholds to be notified or given an alert based on that threshold being crossed. So in this scenario I'm going to use this demo environment to check on the status of a recently resolved malware instance. So let's select this particular machine that recently had a piece of malware resolved and let's see if there's any learnings from that individual infection that I can take to the rest of my environment. So I select that machine and I'm pulled to a new view under computer. You can see here on the left hand side we have the various tools and resources afforded the environment within Windows Intune. And in this case I've moved from the system overview to computers and you can see here I have various groupings of computers that I have defined during my initial deployment. In this case we are viewing this individual machine. I'm going to double click it one more time to get a full view of this machine. Its status in this case a resolved malware instance, no current issues, but let's take a look at what the infection was all about. 
We see here the type of infection, the fact that it was removed and blocked, and that it was a high alert uh, incident. If I wanted to get more detail on this, I could actually learn about this malware by right-clicking, and I'll be pulled into another browser window that gives me more detail. Uh, by popping out to the Microsoft Malware Protection Center, I can see all the information associated with this particular infection, how it represents itself. In this case, it poses as an anti-malware solution itself, tricking the reader into thinking they're infected and downloading this rogue piece of software. So why is this individual user not more aware of this? Well, this is a training opportunity, not just perhaps for this individual's PC, but perhaps for the rest of the organization as well. So let's pop back into the Intune console. Let's take a look. Perhaps there's some other software on this machine that shouldn't be there. Staying within the context of this individual machine, I select software, and I'm given a full listing of all the software that has been loaded to this individual machine. And I can see that this looks to be quite a powerful machine. There's also some nice, powerful video editing software. Perhaps this is a uh, quite a powerful machine. Let's get a look, perhaps, at its hardware. And here's a full view, very detailed view, of the hardware for this individual machine. I can see the type of machine, the chassis build, uh, the fact that it's a very modern CPU with quite a bit of desktop RAM. Uh, this individual user is probably working from home, and thus I can see who that user is and realize that I need to contact them to perhaps update them on what they should avoid selecting as they're browsing the web to avoid uh, infection by uh, malware. Now let's say I want to look at uh, the rest of the machines in my environment. I've got a lot of nice options. So still here within the computer management console, I can select overview and choose computer summary, which is a predefined report of my entire environment. I'm given a quick view of the different chassis types I have in my environment of about 100 machines, or a little less than 100 machines, the manufacturers and how that's divvied up amongst them, uh, which ones are reaching performance thresholds that should probably be addressed by either a cleaning of the machine for unused data or perhaps an addition of new hardware uh, or hard drive. Then I can also see which machines may be perhaps candidates for updating to the newest Windows 7 Enterprise Edition operating system. And that brings up a very important point. With each license, subscription license for Windows Intune, which is only $11 per PC per month, I not only get that antivirus protection for each machine, the Intune Endpoint Protection, but I also get a upgrade license per licensed machine for Windows 7 Enterprise Edition. So it's wonder, this represents a wonderful opportunity for partners to not only position this management uh, resource, but also the ability to save on antivirus and anti-malware software and to standardize all the machines for their customers on Windows 7 Enterprise up from Windows XP uh, as long as it's a professional edition or higher for that older version of the operating system. So an incredible value there in those three uh, uh, components that represent the value of Windows Intune. Okay, so here we see the hardware associated with the environment, the high-level view. Let's also talk about the software in a little bit more detail. I'm going to come back here to the console. Let's take a look at all the software in this particular environment. As I move to the right, you'll see a menu pops up, and I'm given the option to look at detected or managed software. In looking at detected software, I see all the software in this environment across all machines, as well as the installation account, uh, account associated with each piece of software, the publisher, and the category. So some very nice uh, pre-categorization of the software. I also have the ability to search, for example, for individual pieces of software. And it pulls back a nice listing of all the Office 2010 in uh, different forms, whether it's the full suite or the individual components. And some of these, such as Project and Visio, represent uh, different cost components since they are not included with the Office 2010 suite. So this may be a nice way to manage the procurement associated with these individual tools that can add up over time. So it gives me a good view of that. Now, looking at managed software, this is looking at the, uh, at the opportunity to deploy software in this environment utilizing Windows Intune. In this scenario, each one of these different pieces of software has been uploaded into the Windows Intune cloud 
uh, is encrypted as long as it an, is an MSI or EXE file that can run as a silent install we can support it and in this case for example I can select perhaps the link the Microsoft link client for deployment select deployment I'm pulled into a new window to determine which group I'm going to deploy to and I can choose to install at this point in time and uh, assign a deadline with it for those machines that may have various states of connectivity now beyond the ability to actually deploy software I can also manage the licenses associated with software and in this case I have a view of all the licensing agreements not just for Microsoft in that case it can integrate with the MBL Microsoft volume licensing website but also third-party agreements as well such as the one represented here which is with Adobe furthermore I can define policy and there's a variety of templates that you can utilize for creating policy in this situation I have firewall settings and they're quite granular what's represented to the end user within the Intune console as well as when malware scans and updates are performed finally I've got a reporting console that's got a variety of templates for hardware and software reporting as well as detailed licensing reporting so that you can manage procurement policy in this window I'm looking at the hardware inventory reports you can see that I have a variety of fields that act as variables that I can edit so that I can create a report template that I have the ability to then save and reload and execute over a period of time now, all it is is a matter of generating the report here which I can generate as an HTML file or export via CSV file to Excel or the like finally within the administration environment I can define the types of alerts that I want to receive where I receive them uh, some details around how I can load client software and the ability to define different types of administrators whether they are service administrators which have full access to the tool and thus the ability to administer the Intune environment for an individual customer or a tenant administrator that can act as perhaps just a reporting administrator someone who perhaps develops reports for procurement or purchasing uh, or project management for example to define what is the next set of candidates for a Windows XP upgrade to Windows 7 Enterprise which once again comes with the subscription for Windows Intune so that is the demonstration of Windows Intune key things to point out in closing for Windows Intune is with this cloud-based PC management solution I not only get with eleven dollars per PC per month the access to the entire Windows Intune console to administer all the in, uh, machines PCs and laptops for my individual customers but I also get each PC that is under the subscription a upgrade license for Windows 7 Enterprise representing a very nice opportunity to upgrade those XP environments out there for a significantly reduced cost I also get the Intune endpoint protection for any virus and any malware for each each managed PC within the Windows Intune environment